Peter is a 57 years old American who presented to the medical center with non-radiating sharp right upper quadrant pain. He reported that the pain was constant, dull, non-radiating, aggravated by intake of food with nausea. He had past medical history of hypertension and remote surgical history of cholecystectomy 33 years prior to the onset of pain. On physical examination, he presented with high fever, with yellowish discoloration of sclera and mucosa, and tenderness around epigastric region. His vital signs were temperature 102 degree Fahrenheit, pulse 102 per minute, respiratory rate was 26 breaths per minute, and the BP was 140 by 80 millimeters of mercury. The patient underwent a transabdominal ultrasound scan, which showed a dilated common bile duct. Magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography confirmed the dilatation of the CBD with distal tapering and showed a small volume of fluid around the liver. Endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography was performed in a protruding, swollen, enlarged ampulla with polypoid changes in the second part of the duodenum and localized attenuation of the bile duct were identified. Taking into consideration all the symptoms and radiographic results, the doctor suggested cholelithiasis as the most suitable diagnosis. Now the questions are, what is a suitable surgical technique to treat Peter? What factors should be considered for surgical treatment? What are the indications for specific surgical treatment? And what will be the expected post-operative complications? Let's find out the answer by complete understanding of cholelithiasis.